DCSTV Vibes Cartel being robbed? Yes, DCSTV here again with a new one, a next one, and this one is about Mr. Vegas' last interview on BBC One Extra Radio. And um, also we're going to discuss DeMarco's new Big Tree album deal. Before we get into that though, back to Mr. Vegas. So, recently on BBC One Extra Radio, Mr. Vegas, you know, in talk, I mean, a bit of truth. Most of the times, you know, he's an outspoken artist, you know. Him talk truth, you see me I say, and sometimes we won't agree with some of the things that I say, but him not, him not really fear, him very outspoken when it comes to dancehall. You see me, and one of the things that I covered him talk about um, on the BBC One Extra interview was with Vibes Cartel and J Cap, J Cap and a whole and the other organization them who, you know, supposed to collect uh, money on behalf of the artist them. You see me, I say, you know, J Cap is a thing the organization where if you keep a party, you have to pay a certain amount of money for um, you know, the 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 um thing they're going to play as in the um artist lineup the music you're gonna play so what they do is them pay the artist out of that money where them collect you see me but like radio plays radio play you have for carrying a list to you know the organization so they can have a representation of who or who get played and who's supposed to get what amount of money with like dance and street parties and such them no you know get a list of nothing and there is no representation of any um person from J Cap or any organization like that that comes in and take a note or get any form of written information where it shows how much or how much an artist get get played so them can show you know where the percentage of payment goes you understand so um I feel when Mr Vegas have to say real talk a true more than take in it I take in the interview a little bit and hear him say one day hustle and I said, I could look to the future for our kids, them we are going to come up like Bob Marley Pitney them. Because if Frankie Paul dead, John Walt dead, most of the icons them dead, I'm ashamed when I see people talk about them, I forgot to put them, I forgot do what we call it fundraising and go them for the page money and, and, and it's, it's embarrassing, man. Bro, come on, man. Let me tell you what your, your pension in music. You're publishing, your royalties, and them things that you're publishing in music. You see the quick money that you make off a stage show and off a dub plate and them things that the money they blow out. Worse if you're gallus. <laughs> Real talk. Like you have some organization that them set up in Jamaica and them tell you that, oh, them collecting money on the artist's behalf. And them take money from sound system operators and them take money from selectors or whosoever and them dance hall promoters and the dance team in the Catadupa St. James. And them tell us, eh, them collect money for artists. How them know which artists played in the dance? Because this is a new thing that's happening in Jamaica right them now. them know? It's not really new. It's a few years now. How them know who, who played, who got played? Because if that's the case, Vice Cart is supposed to be the richest. I suppose I get the most money from them because every dancing got 30 or 40 vibes card they play. And just to make the, the audience understand, when I play records on the radio, yeah, Mr. To... Vegas gets paid. Good. That's why we have a track list that Good. goes up online. Good. And it goes to the necessary companies. But we have companies. people in Jamaica now. We have organization in Jamaica who, who, who tells you they're collecting money for the artist. But you take a, you take a money from a promoter down in the country and you are not there to say which song got played. So that means there is some bogus thing going on right there, sir. In hindsight. Yes. In another Brandy interview, right. that I'll say, you can see where I'm talking about all the artists them need. A, a organization where you know look out for the artists them the artists who, who, should, who look towards getting pension and stuff like that are you know getting them royalties them due royalties because even look on frankie paul the other day died as mr vegas has shown him and in family and friends are look for you get you know fundraiser going for you know pay for the funeral and stuff which that shouldn't happen with the artists as big as that you see me I'm saying should I have a better way, you know, oh the family should not have to think about that because it would have money already lined up if you can't take care of all of that and more. You understand what I'm saying? So it goes to show you still the type of system, the music industry is a, a very rough and unfair industry and would I like for them to start that out where that is concerned. Yes, and I also want to talk about the Demarco, the Demarco deal, three album deal with Akon Music. See me, I said with Akon, big record label, you see me? Yes, you know, so crazy things for Demarco. Yeah, man, he signed a deal, um, three album deal, and um, he's now being managed by um, Intrigue Entertainment. It's a company owned by business executive um, Rosina Negusi, you know, that are uh, 
Akon wife, you see me? So, you know, some major things. They said, they push him internationally upon every corner of the globe. You see me? I said, but they might press it for the US right now. Can you have a song now to come out with Akon? Him, Akon, our next artist, you know, featured on the track. Supposed to release real soon. They might also put him upon a BET experience, you know, for perform, you know what I mean? Big performance, and he got a mash up that too. So, you know, say, them really are push him. You see me? I said, holy pa. Back in, back in the market, you know, a big engine a push behind him, so you know, so he must show off wicked for the international scale. You see me, I say. And we all know the market talented already, he produce him own music, you see me, I say, he write and everything, he even do him own instrumental, you see me, I say. A lot of people don't even know, say, he do instrumental, in, instrumental for a lot of artists out there, a lot of big artists, I produce instrumental for them. We can expect to see more of him, now that him have this kind of management and then belt, you know, say things are going good for him. Yeah, man, big up the market for that. Akon's record label, and of course, Rosina the Goosey. You see me, I said, because in an interview to what she do, she also said that a mix master David introduced her to him. You see me, I mean, get a couple of them tracks that I listen to, and they are amazed by him work. You see me, I said, she was totally blown away. So that goes to show you, say. Well, I know the market bad already, a wicked artist and thing, but as I say, I never get the push when I'm supposed to get I know I'm going to get it. Anyways, just want to leave you with that. You know, comment in the comment section below. Like, share, and subscribe. DCS TV, I'm out.